Yo, I'm Bob. Totally blind since birth into Star Wars. It's July 11th. The new Ahsoka trailer has just dropped. And Disney Plus put out a version with audio description. So I'm going to be listening to this thing or watching it in my own way. I can't do split screen, so you'll be listening to it too. I'll post a link to the actual trailer so you can watch it if you haven't seen it already. I'm thrilled that this version came out on the same day as the regular trailer. This is something I'm still not used to and something I'll never take for granted, the audio description track. So I'm going to be watching this the only way I know how. Uh, no screaming and hand flailing reactions for me, unfortunately. Uh, I, I tend to process what I see in a more analytical method, so bear with me. I'm going to start this thing now. Let's see if I can put the mic a little closer to the to the uh, the speaker here so you can hear it a little better. All right. Balin must destroy in order to create. A man in Jedi robes uses the force to defeat rebel troopers. We are uh -huh. not Jedi. His lightsaber skewers an enemy, and Oy. he follows another rogue figure. A logo, Lucasfilm Limited. I started hearing whispers of Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. By Timothy Zahn. Years approach an ancient temple. What happens when we find Thrawn? Such as you've never dreamed. His cohort arrives on a ship's bridge and deflects blast with her orange lights. Balin, Shin, most of my life fighting a war. Hera. Okay. That's why I'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one. A holographic Mon Moth, Melissa. You and I both know who can help you with this. A silver considers she's still just as stubborn as ever. <laughs> I bet your master found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him. Just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. On a speeder bike, Sabine skids underneath another vehicle. Watch out. Master. Oh. Ahsoka turns to her. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. That's gotta be Ezra. I'm counting on you to see this through. Sabine chops off her hair. Nice haircut. <laughs> Together, they fly a ship to light speed. Now, Ahsoka activates her lightsabers and does battle with two armored foes. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. Sabine blasts an enemy ship. Buckle up. A dogfight occurs among tentacles and clouds. Is that Pergil? Stop Thrawn. Everything will be in vain. Words of fear. Darkness. You have no power. Is coming. Anakin spoke highly of you. Jeez. We have a lot of work to do. And there's a rebel, always a rebel. Wearing Mandalorian armor, Sabine snags a foe with a grappling line. God. And does battle in a shipyard. <laughs> in a bleak forest of leafless trees, she lobs blades with a masked enemy wielding a double bladed spinning lightsaber. A title appears Star Wars Ahsoka. Okay. Um, wow. There is so much to process. So much to process. So, oh, my microphone almost fell off. I like that Sabine was Ahsoka's apprentice. It reminds me of things that we got to witness in the Legends timeline. I like Sabine's new haircut. Apparently, darkness is coming, but for me, that's every day, so that's nothing new. Uh, I like the... The subtitle there in the trailer, though. Let's see. So I think this is the first time we've actually heard Iman Isfandi speak. And I love who they got to play live action Ezra. For me, the voice is very similar to um, to Ezra in animation. So that that's cool. I like Balin and uh, and Shin as Inquisitors. I can't wait to see their relationship as opposed to uh, Ezra. I mean, uh, Ahsoka and Sabine there as as Master and Apprentice. And, uh, you know, we've got a Inquisitors in armor. We've got dogfights going on. Uh, when Nicole Zanzarella, I do believe that's Nicole, who's narrating the audio description track, when she mentioned tentacles and clouds... Um, I don't know why I thought of the Pergil. I mean, I would think they'd be higher in terms of, of the atmosphere, but 
possibly some other creature. I don't know. I think Pergil have tentacles, so that that was my first thought. And I can't wait to uh, to see the uh, the armored Inquisitors there when uh, Ahsoka is going to be dueling them. Just a lot going on, and I can't wait to see Thrawn. Um, I'm sure there's quite a lot of things that the trailer, uh, quite a lot of other things that were going on in the trailer, and I mean it just it's just three minutes of. Um, action and dialogue and i can't wait to see this thing from what i've seen online we're getting a two episode premiere so i'm going to be watching those back to back in august what else to say so i like how i think it's balin is reminding ahsoka of her past he's trying to get inside of her head possibly to distract her and i mean that's that's kind of what Inquisitors do, and I love that Thrawn has allied himself with with two Inquisitors. So I can't wait to see Lars as Thrawn in live action. Um, I can't wait to see what Natasha and Mary bring to the roles of Sabine and Hera. I'm looking forward to seeing Hu Yang. I think that's how you pronounce his name, and I'm glad they got David Tennant to come back to do that. Uh, role. I, I'm wondering how he survived Order 66. I mean, we saw him in the teaser trailer, but it's great that he's going to be playing a role here, too. I wonder if that temple is possibly on Tython, but I'm not sure. There's so much we don't know, and I'm just thrilled to be able to watch this thing alongside everybody else on trailer release day. It is quite spectacular, I think, and I cannot wait for August. There, there's probably a lot that I've missed, but I mean, this is just a spur-of-the-moment video. And like I said, no split screen, so it was just me listening to the thing narrated. You guys have probably seen it already, but uh, I'm quite excited for August and cannot wait for the show. I wish we could get some action figures alongside the show, like a Midnight Madness release. I don't think we'll be seeing that, but... Um, it, this is really making me want the uh, the new Inquisitors and the armored figures that Ahsoka was dueling there. I hope Ezra hasn't gone dark. I'm wondering if he's possibly a new Inquisitor. Possibly not. Maybe he resisted the dark side uh, since he's been gone for quite a while since we last saw him in Rebels. Anyway, till next time, guys. May the Force be with you and have a great day.